Number 10 from paper 1 of the 2016 National 5. Here we go. A quadratic equation in that completed squared form. And it simply says, sketch the graph of this, indicating all its important features. Where's its turning point and where does it cross the axis? But it's given you an indication here that it's only actually going to intersect the y-axis for three marks. Because that's the first thing you'd pick out from this. Where is its turning point? The turning point would be where it reaches, and you know it's positive, so it's the correct way around its lowest value. Its lowest value would be 1 when the bracket comes to 0, because this is a square. Anything else you put in there, positive or negative, will produce a, a positive number when you square it, which can only add to it. So you know the turning point's at 1, and it will get down to 1 when the bracket's 0, and the bracket will be 0 when x is 3. To knock out that, take away 3. So I'm going to have a turning point 3 along 1 up. So the parabola is coming down here. But where does it cut the y-axis? Well, it cuts the y-axis when x is 0. You've got two letters. You can't work both of them out. You can only work out one of them if you know the other. But I know that on the y-axis, at any point on the y-axis, x is 0. So y would be 0 minus 3 squared plus 1. That's 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. So it cuts the y-axis at 10. So it's going to come down, take a turn, and then go back up again. And it's cutting there at 10. And this is the point, 3, 1. And that's all they require of it. Apart from putting its name in beside it, possibly. But I've just got it sitting there. So that should do. No artistry required. Simply indicating these two points.